Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to study the ABS glitch capture using the oscilloscope uh, on an ABS signal. Uh, on screen, uh, as you can see, it's uh, our typical throughout the uh, this course we've been using this particular software uh, which is a uh, it's a free software that we offer that runs on your sound card it is a it is a real software but it also has a sig signal generator uh, the free software um, uh, it's a uh, it's a light capture software okay which means that not high voltages okay <coughs> but ha however having said that it's a, it is a very capable software uh, Two channels because that's all you have with your sound card. Any, anyhow, uh, send us an email and we'll we'll send you the the, the, the scope software. Uh, now on screen, uh, as you can see, uh, it's the uh, the actual software. Uh, we are going to uh, actually create an ABS signal, a magnetic ABS signal. Ninety-eight percent of all ABS uh, sensors are magnetic two-wire sensors. Okay, we have another uh, video here that explains uh, to you exactly how a two-wire sensor works. Now, having said that, uh, pretty much uh, it's a, a, this is a, this is what you would see with a scope. Now, we are going to uh, turn the uh, in a little while. We're going to turn the uh, uh, the ABS uh, uh, signal on, uh, and we're going to explain to you how um, we're going to introduce a glitch. Uh, to that signal uh, towards the end of the video uh, uh, then we're going to explain to you how exactly how you know what you have to do or throughout the video probably, probably you know uh <coughs> so anyhow this particular video uh this particular signal uh, uh it's a um, uh, this is what you would see and understand one thing that uh, the amplitude and this is the signal this is what it looks like this is a sine wave signal from the from uh, an actual ABS sensor and this is uh, the amplitude changes uh, as you increase the speed of the car okay of the vehicle uh, this is not only a wheel speed sensor signal on an ABS uh, this also uh, you can use the same techniques here uh, for input sp uh, speed sensors on the transmission, output speed sensor on the transmission, vehicle speed sensors. Uh, today, you get you're gonna get a wheel, uh, a vehicle speed signal from one of the wheel speed sensors, usually at the in the rear, rear right or rear left. Okay, uh, but this is exactly uh, this is a square wave that, that we just saw before. But this is exactly what you would see. Okay, a sine wave. Uh, <coughs> This sine wave is broadcasted through the CAN throughout the CAN network, and that's how the uh, the TCM uh, uh, actually assesses or, or or gets a a an idea for speed. Okay, uh, so the wheel speed sensor uh, is usually connected to the ABS computer because it's a uh, their wheel speed sensors. Okay, and then the ABS computer transfers that signal uh, uh, via the uh, or via, or however you want to say it, the uh, uh, the network, the CAN network, uh, to the uh, transmission computer. Okay. Now, <coughs> on screen here, as you can see, it's a uh, it's a typical. This is about two or three cycles of the uh, of the waveform. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, this particular signal, if you would get a glitch right now, you would never see it. Or you would see a, a haze or, or or a garble very briefly, you know, for a, a fraction of a second, and you would never see the, the issue uh, with this uh, particular signal. Okay, uh, we have done uh, right now maybe two, maybe two or three videos that actually explain to you how to compress, and that, that you just you just saw uh, you just saw a glitch. That's another glitch right there. Okay, and now. We, we've done a couple of videos that explain to you how to capture glitches, uh, but this one is how it would apply to an ABS uh, wheel speed sensor or vehicle speed sensor signal. Uh, they all look the same, regardless of the vehicle that you drive or the brand that you drive. 
uh, of the engine size it doesn't really matter if it's a two wire signal this is what it's going to look like uh, and there's no other way uh, to capture it uh, or to capture the glitch uh, unless you do what we're about to show you uh, in this video okay <coughs> now on screen as you can see uh, this rounded waveform is called a sine wave okay uh, the little X that you see that's the uh, the trigger uh, and basically it's triggering halfway at the halfway point this is what we have to do and we, you just saw what we have to do and that's the glitch you're seeing a glitch now you can actually see the glitch a lot, a lot easier okay because what, what you did was compress the signal okay expand the wave uh, the time base uh, to about one minute okay uh, if you go to you know if you go too much then it, it'll take forever and that's a glitch again okay so you're seeing glitches uh, left and right on the wheel speed sensor signal okay wheel speed sensor vehicle speed sensor signal uh, input speed sensor output speed sensor for the transmission is the same thing they, they all have the same uh, now and these are the glitches uh, the, the glitches are they actually since you're compressing the signal you, you're packing so many cycles into the into the screen then it's easier for you to see it okay it's very easy for you to see uh, even if it happens very very fast uh, you can actually capture these glitches uh, the glitches are usually it, it drops the signal down to ground uh, so that's pretty much what you're seeing right now okay and they, they look you know you you would never see a glitch like that uh, if you're just looking at, at, at each cycle that that was a very short uh, glitch that's a very short glitch right there no so again uh, there isn't anything special to this uh, technique other than the fact that make sure you expand the time base uh, to about a, a minute or so um, depending on the signal that you're trying to capture okay and also make sure that your amplitude is right don't go you could go a little higher than this if you want uh, but basically you know make sure you you're seeing the whole waveform the whole cycle in front of you okay and that's uh, basically you know the best way uh, to, to assess any glitches uh, on the uh, on, on the wheel speed sensor uh, signals <coughs> now uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel uh, ADP training okay and and again we're going we're, we're still going to show you you know the same technique here over and over again so that you actually understand it uh, so anyhow so subscribe to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com uh, it'll you'll see the email address in there uh, it is sales at autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com no big deal uh, you can do a google search for automotive diagnostics and publishing uh, we are always giving out free stuff like this software for example that you see in front of you uh, which is used by many many schools uh, throughout the country and in many uh, European and as far uh, also in uh, Australia and so on and so forth they use it in, uh, in class for training uh, anyhow so it's free to you uh, just request it uh, and that's about it okay um, uh, on our channel you can actually subscribe to our, our channel of course I hope you do or you did already uh, you can donate if you want if you think that this uh, content is uh, useful to you uh, and basically, you know, uh, we uh, we do everything automotive. Everything we do, uh, we we make it, we manufacture it in house, uh, made in the U.S. And so, you know, it's uh, <coughs> and th we try to keep the channel free again uh, for the foreseeable future. Okay, um, so you know, uh, any any little bit, whatever you can, we can you can uh, help out, it helps out. Okay, and of course, uh, post comments if you can. Uh, on any of our videos uh, we're always uh, getting comments uh, here and there uh, so we like to thank you again for tuning into our channel ADP training this was a very uh, a, it was a remake of the video that we actually came out with a bad audio so we actually tweaked it uh, to, uh, so, uh, to you know so, so that it sounds better uh, we didn't know what happened so anyhow we, we re deleted it and we posted it again anyhow thank you for watching and tuning into our channel thank you this channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, 
and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed anytime we upload a new automotive tip secret or technology video you will be notified finally by subscribing you will also be part of our weekly freebies yes we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise automotive diagnostics and publishings Mandy Concepcion the owner of this channel is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web at any moment in time we may offer a free book Kindle ebook Android app one of our own diagnostic equipment or even auto repair software that runs on your PC subscribe now free of charge learn lots of automotive technology secrets and win free stuff it doesn't get any better than that Thanks for watching, and enjoy!